Thanks, Anthony Husking from PCVideoConference.com. We've just got a, an update for you on version V30.74. What I'd like to do is show you the two methods of logging into your room, uh, into your conference room, um, as a room owner and as a guest. So what we're going to do now is just pull up a conference room link. Uh, this one happens to be one of our customers. In just a few moments the room loads and uh, it will proceed to the login box as you can see here. Now for room owners and moderators you need to put in your username and password here. and It needs to be typed in or copy and pasted exactly. But you need to be very careful not to add a space. Inadvertently add a space will cause the room not to load as a moderator. Okay, so be very careful not to add a space if you're copying and pasting. Ideally you should manually type it in. So once you've done that, if there's a room password you need to add it here. Um, in this case there's no room password. You select your dial-up speed or your DSL speed for your internet connection. In this case it's cable. So we select that. If you're on a public computer you can check that so that, you so that your login details aren't saved on that computer. Uh, if the OK button's not greyed out then you have the, all the details required to begin uh, connecting to the conference room. Right, we're in. We're in as a moderator. And we know that because we can see all the tabs up here, the various features that are available for the moderator. So we click on browser in this case, um, the room owner's website that uh, is set in the settings will, will appear. Um, I'm just going to go back out and show you how you would sign in as a guest. Um, essentially the procedure is the same. Just waiting for the room to load now. Okay, in this instance I'm just going to put uh, Peter. We're connecting and we're in the room. And as you can see, I've logged in as a guest. There's no moderator controls up there, just the limited access that, uh, that can be predetermined by the room owner, the account holder, or the moderator uh, within the settings in the back office. So having said that, let's just show you the newest feature that we've added. Um, if you go to the main website, click on the Members tab, it takes you to the um, Conference Room Control Panel. Uh, log in. And we're in the Overview page right now. This gives you the statistics, how many moderators have been set up for that room. Your conference room default link is this one here. Uh, this one has not had a password but um, for the conference room added, otherwise it would show private along this section here. Uh, the newest addition, which isn't active as yet, is this link here. As you can see, there's an S in the HTTPS and that stands for Secure Room Link. So that will soon be available. Uh, at the moment it is currently not available. Alright, so if I was to click on this, the room would auto execute itself and load in a new browser. Uh, but the newest feature for moderators is this auto login feature. So you go to your My Moderators section click on that and as you can see I've listed myself as a moderator if I was manually entering the room like we just showed, showed you I would add that as the username and use that as the password but as a room owner I don't need to do that 
I can just go to the room link here, select that, and the room will start loading in another browser, as you can see now. It saves me the worry of adding a username and password correctly. And it will log me into the room as a moderator with all feature access, as you can see there. Okay, so they're the two new additions, the auto login uh, conference room link from my room moderators section in the back office and soon to be a secure link for your conference room. Okay, that's all we need to discuss today. Thanks for watching.